Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to tell you how you can set up Amazon SCS account. Now you can see it's written here that Amazon SCS which is like simple email service is a cost effective outbound only email sending service. So you can actually send out email campaigns, newsletters, etc. via Amazon SCS. So basically what I'm going to show in this particular video is just how to set up the account, okay? So for that you need to come here at this link which says aws.amazon.com slash SES. All right, and over here we have got an option to create a free account. So just click here. And now here you can see it's written sign in or create an AWS account. So I've already got an account at amazon.com. So I'm just going to use that credential or else you can just go for I'm a new user option and you know create an account. sign in all right contact number and this is the capture so all right so now I'm going to check this box to indicate that I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and now I'm going to click here on create an account and continue over here I need to put up my payment information so I have to put up my credit card credentials. All right, now uh, it's asking you to choose your billing address. So I'm just going to use my contact address and I'm going to click here on continue. Now, the next step is identity verification. So I'll be called immediately by an automated system, okay? And I need to enter that pin number. So I'll click here on call me now and I've got my pin so as you can see my verification is complete uh, you just saw a pin over there right so you will be getting an automated call and you will be asked to enter that pin so I just entered that pin and my verification process has been completed now I'll continue to select my support plan now over here you can choose any of the plans according to your utilities like you know uh, a paid support plan uh, to get some technical assistance and everything so I'm just going for the basic one and I'll just click here on continue all right so you can see uh, this is my final confirmation okay registration confirmation and now I'm going to click here on launch management console So this is the Amazon Web Services console and over here you can see it's written SES okay email sending service so I'll just click here so as you can see it's written here that it will take a short time for my account to get set up okay I'll be getting an email confirmation that my SES account is ready and thereafter I can just continue using that and so you can see I've got the confirmation email which says that my Amazon Web Service account is ready okay so this is the email you will be getting one and I'll come here to my management console and over here you can see SES so I'm just going to click over that now over here you will be finding your SES sending limits and everything you can see the metrics okay and at the top you have got an option to request prediction access okay so just click over that and now it will ask you to submit a case Okay, so uh, I need to open a new case here. So this is like you're actually sending Amazon an email regarding why do you want to set up your SES account, okay? So uh, so I want it regarding this service limit increase. Uh, limit type is SES protection access, region, okay? And I need to put up my website URL here. So I'll just put up that. And over here I'm going to check these boxes yes so whatever you're choosing here depends more on like what you want to do with your SES account okay so you have to provide a description like how you would be using it so I'll just write here and over here this is my contact information okay and now I'm going to choose a contact method so I want web so you can see this is the case detail that I just got submitted in Amazon and this is a description that we provided subject case ID created case type and everything so actually we have submitted our case details to Amazon and now all we need to do is just wait for their email the final email that 
our account is ready and we can just start using that okay now after that you will be getting uh, an email confirmation like this which says that congratulations you have been granted protection access to Amazon SES okay so the next process will be to go to your uh, management console okay and over here you need to click here on SES fine then you will be navigated to this page and over here you will find SMTP settings okay, so I'm just going to click over here and now I'll be clicking here on create my SMTP credentials so you can see this is like uh, identity and access management console and this is my username I'll just click here on create now over here you will be finding this option download credentials okay. so just click over download credentials you can even view your credential from here like this all right so I've got my SMTP security credentials and now the next step which I need to follow is I need to confirm my email address so I'm just going to come here at email addresses and verify a new email address I'm going to put up over here verify you can see our verification email has been sent I'll just check that yes it is now click over this link to confirm your verification all right here we go congratulations my email has been successfully verified so I've got everything right now to uh, set up my SES account with any mail client I've got the access key ID I've got the secret access key I've got a verified email and now I'm all set to connect my SES with mailgate okay this is the segment where you need to put up your mailgate credential like you need to put up the SES region your username what you got the password and the verified email that you just got verified and you can save the SES credential and you are ready to send emails via mailgate so thanks so much for watching and do try mailgate as that's the best email marketing solution available and to do that you can just follow the link below and create an account with mailgate and you are ready to set your email campaign at the lowest price available thank you again do try it